Hello kids, how are you doing? So let me ask you a question today. So first thing, let me tell you that today again, we are doing this session only in English. So bear with me, challenge yourself and let's hear the entire session in English today. So the question I was talking about to you today was that, uh, is that, uh, have you ever felt like nobody care about you? Like there's nobody when you really want to be cared. Uh, you want to talk to people. Uh, you want people to listen to you. But uh, <clears throat> there are nobody, uh, there is nobody around uh, you. Uh, in my childhood, when I was really small, there have been many instances like that where I needed someone. I needed my friends. I needed my family. But I felt I was really alone and nobody actually listened to me. And I got really angry and sad about it many, many times. So uh, you have to think about it. Uh, do you ever feel like that? Uh-huh. Yes? No? Okay. So today... On this similar context, we are going to read a new story. This is a story about a boy, a boy who might need to be listened, uh, who might need to talk to someone, uh, who wants to talk to someone, uh, who wants a little bit of care maybe. Uh, I mean, he is, he is getting all that care, but not really. Uh, so yeah, let's start today's story. So today's story is called as not now bernard so not now bernard is written by and also illustrated by david mckee so let's have a look at it so there is a small little boy and there is someone here who do you think is this a uh, crazy looking thing. He looks so super angry also. So who could be this Bernard? Is Bernard this boy? Oh, Bernard could be this thing. What do you call this? A monster? Uh-huh. No, yes. Okay. So we'll see what is this thing. And what is this boy's story? What is this boy's name? So we'll see now. So this book has been published long back, back quite long back actually. It was published in uh, 1980, which is like almost 1910, uh, almost 40 years uh, now. So not now, Bernard by David McKee. Hello, Dad, said Bernard. And this, who is this? This is Bernard. And who could be this? This is Bernard's dad. What is Bernard's dad doing? Oh, Bernard's dad is hammering a nail. Can you see Bernard's dad hammering a nail? Uh-huh, yes, you can see that, right? And Bernard says, hello, dad. And Bernard's dad, look at his face turning all green and his fingers turning all red. Why is it so? Because he has hammered his own finger. Why? Because Bernard has might, might have disturbed him, right? And he said, hello, dad. He just said, hello, dad. And he was like, oh, my God, what is happening? Look at his face. He's all, oh, my God. And he says, not now, Bernard, said his father. He's like, not now, Bernard. I'm working right now, right? He's working and Bernard has disturbed him. He doesn't want to play with Bernard. Maybe Bernard wants to play with his dad. But the dad, but his father doesn't have time for him because he's doing some important work, right? So let's go ahead. Now he's going to someone else. Who could this be? Is this Bernard's mother? So Bernard goes to that lady and says, Hello, mum, said Bernard. And she's mum, Bernard's mom. That means Bernard's mother. And what does she say? Not now, Bernard, said his 
mother and her, his mother is also busy doing some sort of household work uh, she is maybe taking water to drink or maybe doing some work where is she is she in her bedroom is she in her dining room is she outside the house or is she in the kitchen maybe she is in the kitchen because she is wearing an apron right can you see the apron when do we wear an apron when we work in the kitchen so that our, our clothes don't get dirty and Bernard maybe wants to play with her, with his mother, but the mother said, not now, because maybe she's also busy in doing her own work. Now, who would Bernard go and play with? Who is there to play with Bernard? Does Bernard has any brothers or sisters? Let's see. If Bernard comes to the mother, comes to his mother and saying something, Bernard comes into the room and says, There's a monster in the garden and it's going to eat me, said Bernard. So Bernard is saying that there is a monster. Could this be that monster? So Bernard is saying that there is a monster in the garden and that monster is going to eat Bernard. Oh my god, that looks like something really uh, scary, right? And what is Bernard's mom doing? She's watering the plants. The plants need water, right? Then only they can grow. And she is watering. But Bernard came running by in the room and said, There's a monster in the garden, and that is monster is going to eat Bernard. And look what happens. The vase broke. The water's coming out, spilled out of the vase because it got, it's all, all broken up. And the mom gets really angry. Look at mother's face, really angry. And she says, not now, Bernard, said his mother. She doesn't want to be disturbed. She wants to do her work. There is no time to play with Bernard now, right? So, Bernard went into the garden this is bernard there's nobody to play with bernard no brothers and sisters mother and father are busy doing their own work so bernard is going to the garden where he might play with himself there's nobody to play with but there is someone else in the garden and who is this is this the monster bernard looks at him and says hello monster he said to the monster, this is the monster, this is the same monster, right? This one. And monster looks at Bernard and he is not, he does not look very happy here. Maybe he might be angry also. No, what would he do with Bernard? Would these two play with each other? Would these two become friends with each other? What would happen next? Let's see. The monster ate Bernard up every bit. So the monster ate Bernard. Bernard's gone, vanished. And where is he? In his stomach. He has eaten up Bernard. Gone. Look at only Bernard's shoe is there now. Bernard's gone. Because the monster has eaten up, right? And then the monster went indoors. He's going inside the house. And he says, Rah! Went the monster behind Bernard's mother and he roars, Yeah! But the mother is still not looking at him. She is very busy doing her own work. She has a lot of work. What is she doing here? Is she painting the wall? What color is the wall? And she replies, she thinks that it's again Bernard may be disturbing. And she says, not now, Bernard, said Bernard's mother. And she says, oh my God, again Bernard's. 
Uh, Bernard is disturbing me so much. Not now, Bernard. Please don't disturb me. She doesn't even look at it. She doesn't even know where is Bernard. She believes that this thing is Bernard. So she's not looking at that. And then the monster bit Bernard's father. The monster goes to Bernard's father and tries to bite the leg. And then what happens? Bernard's father jumps and in frenzy. He, he gets really, because it might have been paining him, right? So he jumps and then says, Not now, Bernard, said his father, said Bernard's father. And Bernard's father is in so much into his newspaper that he doesn't look at it. He doesn't even know where is Bernard. And he thinks that, oh, that might be Bernard and creating some mischief. And then, uh, so he says, not now, Bernard. I'm not in the mood to play with you. And the monster, the monster, what is he, what would he be thinking? And the mother says, your dinner's ready, said Bernard's mother. She put the dinner in front of the television. And Bernard's mother prepares the dinner and puts it in front of the television on the table. And for? For who? For Bernard. But where is Bernard? Where Bernard is gone, right? There is no Bernard now because the monster ate Bernard. So who will eat this dinner? The monster ate the dinner. And the monster comes and eats up all the dinner. Look at the way monster is eating the dinner. We're all like, yeah. Then it watched the television. Then the monster, maybe for the first time in his life, is watching television shows which Bernard might be watching. But now the monster is watching the television. Then it read one of Bernard's comics. Bernard is reading. Sorry, the monster is reading Bernard's comics and broke one of his toys and the monster gets real angry and breaks one of Bernard's toys. So look at that, the toy is all broken up, destroyed now. The monster is crazy, right? And the mother comes and says, go to bed, I have taken up your milk, called Bernard's mother. She's saying, Bernard, you should sleep now, you should go to bed now. And the milk is there in the room. I have taken up all the milk in the room. So, she still doesn't know where is Bernard. Maybe she... Why is it like that? Why they are not paying attention? And the monster went upstairs. The monster is going to Bernard's room. Look at, he's having a toy. Maybe he likes this toy. What is this? It's a teddy bear. Do you like teddy bears? And the monster says to himself, But I am a monster. Because monster is also uh, thinking that I am a monster, I am not Bernard. These people, why can't they look at me? These people, they still don't know where is Bernard. Why, why are they not paying attention to it? Are these people going mad? And Bernard's mother says, not now, Bernard. She still thinks that it's the Bernard creating nuisance, creating mischief, playing with her. And she doesn't even care if it's her son or not. She just says, not now. I'm not in the mood to talk with you. I'm not in the mood to play. And the monster looks so confused here. The monster is like, Oh my God, what is this? What kind of family is this? And that's how the story ends here. The monster live, is now living in the house. The parents are unaware. They don't even know where Bernard is. And that's how the story ends. Not now, Bernard by David McKee. So, like Bernard, you might have felt that some days we all have lives just like Bernard. There are people who don't want to listen to us 
people don't pay attention to us people don't listen to us people don't care about us but but that and that is a part of life and that will is always going to happen with all of us but the one thing we can do about it is to just love being with ourselves like bernard loved being with himself and went out to the garden so we can also go out to, uh, right now we cannot go out uh, but we can also spend time with books we can spend spend time with ourselves we can write poems we can draw beautiful uh, things we can paint with different colors we can love we can start being with ourselves and love being with ourselves and definitely i hope when you go out you don't find that monster who will come into the house and eats up all your dinner and watches your tv and breaks your toys and read all your comics i hope you don't find that monster and that's all for today thank you for reading not now bernard by david mckee amazing amazing book and very very thank you bye bye